Farmville, Virginia on this Tuesday for some midweek college baseball here on ESPN+. Plus. It's 3-9 and nine, Norfolk State. The Spartans taking on a homestanding Longwood Lancers team. The Lancers 6-10 and 10. as we get set to roll. Two of those, in fact, six of those for extra bases. Two doubles, four triples. That one will get past a diving effort by Dix at third and keeps rolling. Deontay Brown, plenty of speed, loses the batting helmet in the process. Brown will fly to second, stand-up style, a one-out stand-up double by Deontay Brown, top of the first. In that three-game sweep to the Wildcats. The one and two is swung on and missed, and there is Cole Taylor's first 2022 K. Down goes Schaefer, two gone weekend if you can call it that just on Friday Hayden Harris though not cool here in his first plate appearance gets a base hit into shallow center field but was ready to say only one base hit against Bryant last Friday in both games for Harris further and farther that it may roll out gives a better opportunity for someone like Flint to cover on the move goes Harris and that one got thrown away Hayden Harris already had second and now Harris on the error will get to third And now Pepsi presents what fans like because Pepsi, they know what fans like. Make sure you pick up an ice cold or refreshing Pepsi. You can do that today. Pepsi, that's what I like. Trying to keep some of that walking going. Maybe instead he'll swing on it and that one will get through the gap to left field for Elliot Dix. And that's a leadoff base hit. The second leadoff knock in a row for Longwood finding a little roomed uh, maneuver. Into shallow left and controlled by Boykin across the way at head coach Chad Oxendine. It's a potential for a new rivalry somewhat. That one will get through off the bat of Chorba. Dix rounding third. And Dix will score to make it 2 nothing Longwood. That's an RBI double off the bat of Eric Chorba. Lancers, two zip over Norfolk State. Home second for Flint. 1-0, runner moving, that's Gillum, throw to second, Gillum there, coming in from third to score, that's Hayden Harris. So Harris makes it 6 nothing Longwood, as the speed, again, at the forefront of everything for the Lancers, similar situation to the one that he faced this past Saturday against Davidson. That one will get through. Dix with a base hit. Effort at second by Schaefer. Couldn't reel it. Big inning continuing here for Longwood. Dix will keep the fire alive. Two runs scored, three base hits. Has a home run of his own this season. And Cleveland, tough play, but barehanded at third by Dix. And goes across the diamond back to first and gets the out. Elliot Dix, very impressive. Impressive at third base that time to not have to use a glove to make the play. Jacob Council batting second and third in the order as Deontay Brown pops it right up. And again, what's Corbin McLeod got? McLeod collides with Dix coming in, but makes the squeeze for the out. But uh, paying a little bit of a price is Elliot Dix, who is trying to get there to support McLeod. A base hit, which brought in. A run as well. Runner on the move. That's Doleberry. And he is clean to second. Stolen base for Michael Doleberry. Turn around. He may be one of those catalysts. Two and two. That's a strikeout. Cole Taylor with his fourth Tuesday strikeout. Woods goes and it stays 8 nothing Longwood. Home fourth next. ESPN+. Plus. A stolen base and Michael Dolberry adding two to his tally. So Dolberry is going to be top three, top two here before long. Dix, this one moves its way over and drops in. Hot shot off of his bat into left field. That'll be an RBI single for Dix. It'll score Hunter Gillum and it's 9 nothing Longwood. Bottom of the fourth. So Dix, three for three on this Tuesday. Ryan 
popped up and just gets down on a diving try by Deontay Brown and Ryan will arrive at second. Kicks up the dirt, runs, scores. That's Looney, 12-0 Longwood. Brown was running after it and almost got to it. Matt Stanley in 2021 with North Carolina Central had a 13-5 ERA, made two appearances. That is a walk, the third in a row thrown by Stanley, and that will load the bases for Longwood here in the bottom of the sixth. More than that, here comes the three and one to Dolberry. Misses over the top of the glove of Guerrero. That'll walk in a run with the bases loaded as Schnell will come across. It's 13 nothing Longwood, who has a base hit in this one, has driven in two and could just blow it open here. That one came in and plunked the batting helmet of Hayden Harris. Pretty strong hit there, too, on the pitch from Stanley that was way up and too close. And that will be a hit by pitch to walk in a run. That's McLeod, who will become run number 14 scored on this Tuesday for Longwood. So a walk brought a run in. A hit by pitch brings in another. Wayward outings in his first two appearances. The 0-2 to left field off the bat of Looney. And that will bring in run number 15 as Falkenberry will score. 15-0 Longwood. Base knock for Justin Looney. And everything continues to go exactly right for Longwood now on this Tuesday evening stroll for the Lancers. Today, just a matter of when they got him in. Heavy sinker, got a good slider. Difficult guy to hit. Counts full at three and two. That one too close to McLeod. That's a walk. Brings in another run. The 19th on this Tuesday for Longwood. That's Jim White who will cross home plate. Score updated to Reflect where we are here now in the top of the seventh. Again, that means a run from tying last Wednesday. Well hit off the bat of Walker, and that's a home run. So a solo shot for Cam Walker near the top of the seventh will break the scoreless game for Norfolk State as Walker puts it out left field. It's now 23 to 1. So Walker injects a little bit of life into Norfolk State. Mentioned Jacob Council, of course, who batted 311 last year. He's a piece. Brown's a piece. Boykin rolls to short, to second, to first. Another double play for Longwood. All started with Grant Melnick. Melnick and Longwood's infield roll up two more. 24 1 Lancers, bottom eight. Next, ESPN Plus. Sturgeon ready on the pitch from Parrish. Swings at the first. Knocks it right to J.R. Parrish, who will take the move towards first. Toss it over, and that puts a wrap on it. 24-1 to 1, Longwood over Norfolk State on this Tuesday as the Lancers match the same 24 runs they put up on the board last Wednesday against St. Peter's. Come up a run short of setting a new program record, but still no one's going to complain for the Lancers. They're 7-10. and 10. On the season as Keith Shoemate will shake hands with some of the Lancers on their way out of the dugout and some good sportsmanship shown by all. Also some congrats there in order. Shoemate and head coach Chad Oxendine.